Once the decoys were in place, we waited for shooting hours and hopefully some ducks. The early December temperatures provided a heavy frost. These two mallards were just out of range. Patience paid off and we finally got some shots. We knocked down two Susies, but this Drake sat down on the other side of the pond just to tease us. The rest of the morning was slow, but as the fog lifted and turned to blue skies, ducks were back in range. Young kid stepped in from the cold. He ordered up a drink. He said, "Don't look." Bird. <laughs> back around. Take them, take them, take them. Get them, Buck. We're out here today in central Kentucky, and uh, we're doing some duck hunting with Sid Lizenby, way off there on the other end, Jay Caskey. This guy right here is Troy, Troy Gentry, and I, I've seen I've, I've seen your face somewhere. I think it was on CMT the other day. You could ha could have. I'm uh, half of the Montgomery Gentry out right now on Columbia Records. Right, and uh, you know we've been seeing you guys everywhere here lately. Been hearing you on the radio, and something I've got to ask you. Of course, you're right here from Kentucky. How's it feel to turn on the radio and hear your music? Oh, it, it feels incredible. You know, I grew up playing in the clubs and everything around here in Central Kentucky and everything. Name some of those clubs. Uh, Austin City, the Great Vine, played in Somerset at the Sonic Spectrum and the uh, Palomino Club in Richmond. Yeah. Just a bunch of different places. And uh, you dream playing in these clubs of one day being able to travel and hear yourself on the radio. And you, when it finally happens, it's just the most greatest feeling you can ever experience. It's got to be rewarding. Now, you guys are on the road constantly right now, aren't you? Yeah, we've been out uh, a little over a year now. We started last year year on December 2nd with our radio tour. Uh, we started uh, touring with our band in April and we're just now getting ready to finish up about uh, three or four days before Christmas. Now what's the name of uh, your latest song? I heard something about Daddy Wouldn't Sell a Farm or something. Yeah, the latest single is Daddy Won't Sell the Farm. It's on the radio right now and it comes off the our uh, album of this year, uh, Tattoos and Scars. Well I'm glad to see that you get at least a little time off the road so you can go duck hunting every now and then. A little bit. Uh, I try to as much as I can when I get uh, get in town. I love being outdoors and I enjoy getting out with my buddies and everything and hunting and fishing and stuff. So when I get in, I like to get out in the woods and spend some time with my buddies. And you're a bow hunter as well, right? Yes, I love to bow hunt. Uh, uh, I love getting out in the woods. It's just something about getting that close to uh, to the deer and, and to nature and to pull something off like that is an incredible experience. That's why I got this job. <laughs> I enjoy it. Now, Jay Kasky, he's our Central Kentucky Waterfowl Connection. and we have had a good day here today, and you know it's kind of early. Uh, you saw some migrators yesterday. You saw, you say? We seen one group, and then uh, 
they set into this area here, but uh, it's still real slow. The birds haven't got out of the north. The weather up there has been real warm, and uh, we've got some people up there we uh, keep in contact with, and they say they're just now leaving. So next couple, three weeks, it ought to start getting right. Well, Buck did a good job today, didn't he? Yeah, he's done real well. He's, he's just a pup, though. He, he's coming on, though, pretty good. And this is his uh, second duck season, and uh, he's done real well. I'll tell you what, guys. We're going to be listening for your stuff on the radio, and I'm going to be waiting on your phone call. And Sid had never said anything on camera, so Sid, say something on camera. I don't care what it is. <laughs> hey, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he could talk. Well, guys, thanks a lot, and let's get back out here and do it again sometime. We'll do it. All righty. We called it a day and headed back, but it certainly was a successful hunt with Troy and the gang. 